All right, guys, I noticed you guys wanted to see more E90 stuff, so I'm gonna bring you guys an E90 video. So let's just get back to the topic. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the airbag light on your car. I replaced my seats, and I couldn't figure out why I had an airbag light on my car. So it turns out that the reason why I have an airbag light on my car is because my seat tensioner has been deployed. And usually this happens when I, you know, you get in a car accident and whatnot. You have to replace, you have to replace your seat buckles and uh, the airbags and whatever. Um, in this case, I never got in a car accident, but the seats I bought was in a car that got in a car accident. So I'm gonna have to replace the seat tensioners. I'll show you guys how to replace it, how to get out of the car, and uh, do everything. I'm gonna unplug the battery, hoping that when I turn back on the car, it's gonna reset the light. So I don't have to go get like a, you know, a OB2. I plan on getting the, the Carly, whatever that thing is, the, the BMW thing to help reset codes and code the car. But for now, I just want to see if this works. I'm, I'm going to replace the tensioner and j just while I'm doing it, have the battery unplugged. You know, it's safer and hopefully the light will go away. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to do it. All right, guys, we just get in the car real quick. Show you guys the dash. Put in the keys. As you guys can see, I have the airbag light and the seatbelt light, which is usually due to the tensioner. Um, let's turn off the car real quick. So, yeah, so if you guys don't know why you have these airbag lights on and you've bought, purchased new seats or you've gone in a car accident, it's most likely the seat tensioners, the seatbelt buckles. So I'm gonna show you guys what's the difference between a one that's perfectly fine and one that's not fine and uh, replace them. First off, we're gonna go to the trunk and unplug the battery. Don't mind the mess. Here's my uh, my new seatbelt tensioner. Let's see if I can flip the LCD for myself. Yes, that's the new seatbelt tensioner. As you can see, there is no strain here. When there's strain here, that means it's already been deployed, and you'll see something coming out of here. So this one's good to go. It's from my other black seats. So that's good to have. I don't have to go order it. So I know I took everything out of the trunk. Probably end up cleaning the trunk while I'm at it. Take this out, and we're gonna go to the battery. I have it. My battery is probably not the same as you guys. I had to replace it recently. I'm just gonna loosen up that cable and unplug it. The negative terminal. I'm just gonna find my little pliers so right here. So I'm gonna use these guys. They have a little bit of rubber to it, so I don't, you know, spark myself. So basically, I put a towel in between the negative and the battery. Make sure that it doesn't reconnect. Let's go back inside the car and see what we have to do. So what I'm gonna do first is remove the front. Ah, looks like I need to put the keys in the car real quick. Let me get to find the keys. Oh, it's on the dash. A lot of work. I'm just kidding. Saves a lot of money when you can do everything yourself, boys. Oh, I just realized when you unplug the battery, you can't move the seats. I'm so smart. All right, I'm probably gonna have to go reconnect the battery real quick. Gonna move the seat back real quick. Unscrew the two front ones. If you guys don't know, it's a uh, this bolt right here is a 30. It's a Torque 30. I'll show you guys how it looks like. Alright guys, so I lied. It's not the T30. It's this eight millimeter thing you make bobber. If you put it in here, I lied. It's not the 30 mil. I don't know which one it is. Which one is it? I think it could be this one, the T45. Yep, it's the T45, guys. My bad. I don't think I have anything bigger. Yep, it's the T45. All right, guys, so now once you have all the screws out, I'm going to push up the seat so I can get to that seat buckle. And before I unplug anything, I'm going to go to the back of the car and uh, disconnect the battery. So I'm going to do, guys, is take the seat out of the car, um, just, you know, so I don't ruin my seats or anything. So the first thing you want to do is go underneath the seat, pull up the seat. And uh, there's this yellow cable that you have to disconnect. Ah, so basically, it's like a little gray clip. Let me see if I can focus it in there. So you just put it out like that. So I'm sweating. It's so hot out right now. All right, guys. So it's really easy to take out. You just pull it out of the door, and then now it gives me a lot more room to work on the chair. So I'm gonna push it toward this side, right here, and get that screw out. So you guys can see that all the tension 
right here is came together because of the crash. Now I didn't notice. I was one of the. I didn't even think this was even possible. You know, having seat tensioners and this has something to do with your airbag light, but it does. So we're gonna take this out. You could probably see down here. That's a little bit further than the ones that are not. Uh, man, I'm really tired today. So we're gonna unscrew this, take it out, and replace it with the other one. So just for a side-by-side -side comparison, this is how it's not supposed to look, and this is how it's supposed to look. So even when I got this seat, I knew there was something wrong with it, but I didn't think there was, you know, that had anything to do with the airbag. I thought it was just somebody just is fat and just sat on it and broke it, whatever. But no, that is not the case, guys. Yeah, guys, I highly recommend that uh, you take this out of your car to work on it. So right now, we have to get to the side of this, which is this plastic piece. You have to take that out. There's a clip there, and there's a clip on this side that you guys have to pull this way and vice versa to get those two great things out in the middle there. One of those great things have to do with uh, this guy. So I'll show you guys how it looks on the one that we're supposed to pull out. So this is the one that's supposed to come out. This is from the, the replacement, and it's right in there in the middle. Get some tools real quick for and I'll be right back. So the tools I'm going to be using to remove the clip is uh, just a regular flathead and a knife. You can use two flatheads. I just don't have two flatheads because I'm cheap. I don't know. Now I'm not cheap. I just can't find the other one. My, my cousins uh, misplaced my tools. I'm going to kill you guys. Alright guys, I can't do this one handedly so you guys know what you're supposed to do. Just move those two clips onto the side and pull out that gray thing. Alright guys, so one just came out. I'm going to do this using one hand. This is really, really hard. Probably use my head. Alright, so I pulled one wire out. You gotta unclip this. You have to, you don't have a choice. And then you're gonna get that other wire out that's in there. That's the one we need to first un uh, undo this uh, zip tie. Yeah, it should be with enough force. This should just come out. So I'm gonna pull the wire up. I don't really care if it rips or anything. This one's already messed up. Alright, guys, see if I can bring you up real quick. Let y'all face me. I know how beautiful I am. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm just going to start bolting on the the new seat buckle and then putting the clips and everything back. I think that will be a whole lot easier than that thing flapping around. So I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm finished. Alright guys, I'll put everything back. I'll put it onto the clip and everything. You just, you know, likewise, put it all back together. And I'm going to put back the seat back in this uh, car, um, plug it in, and then, you know, basically bolt it on because the light can go away. Uh, once you either reboot the car, like restore the car after the battery's dead, or you have to get an OB2 scanner and reset it. But if this is your only problem, it should go away right after that. I'm hoping it's my only problem because I only replaced the seats. So I'm hoping to God, you know, the other seat looks perfectly fine. Again, if they look like this, you need to replace them. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Um, so we're going to get in the car. We put everything back together. And this hopefully the airbag light will go away. I have no idea to be 100% honest. Honestly, just fingers crossed. I really have no idea, guys. I'm really stressed. But whatever. I mean, at least I know that had to be replaced, period. Okay, the airbag light is still there. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know, you're all